Try to get on the count. Yes, and he rips one right up the middle. Almost takes Johnson's head off. Ironman's going to round third. And he'll stay there as Ray was a little hesitant on getting the ball back into the infield. 2 nothing Bears. Ripped a pocket in the back of his pants. Graham swinging on the one strike pitch into right field. Ironman will cruise home for the Bears' fifth run. 5 nothing MSU. Allowing just one run in four innings and striking out five. And the midweek starter. Steinmetz right to him. And the runner will tag from second going to third. Steinmetz with a good throw. And Butler gets in there safely. Sack fly for Zuris. And the Redbirds are on the board. That it couldn't have been, it could have really been more. Going the other way. Beautiful piece of hitting. How about the catch by Alex Jefferson? Shoot string. Wow. I wasn't sure he was going to get there. That was down for sure. Yeah. That's pretty. <laughs> it wanted to squirt out, but credit for holding on. And how about the fact that he didn't make the unnecessary dive? You all right, Brian, let's take a look at the game recap and presentation at Grand Hall inside the historic St. Louis Union Station. Grand Hall comes to life nightly with an award-winning 3D light show. When making plans for your next trip to St. Louis, visit grandhall-stl.com for details. Illinois State simply gave the Bears too many extra base runners, seven watch over the first two innings. That uh, helped Missouri State score their six runs. Both of, All of those runs came in the first two frames. Right up the middle, and it's an RBI single for Sadler, and it makes it a 6-2 ball game. In the right field corner. Yes. And that one gets past Brathwaite, and Jefferson will score the seventh run. Steinmetz has a beat on it. Not worried about that run. Tagging up from third to make it eight to three. It's more. As the tying run is on deck. Chopper to Ironman. He can't make a play. Another run is scored. And Illinois State won't go away. Lines this one into center field. It's going to drop in front of Jefferson. It gets past Alex. Two runs will at least score, and they'll hold the runner up at third. Runners on at second and third. And here come the Redbirds down eight to six. Swinging on the first pitch to Berger. One pitch, and we will have a rematch between the Redbirds and the Bears as MSU holds on to win it here today, this morning, eight to six.